All right, if you're a Costco shopper, which obviously you are, you're on the wrong page, you've seen Kevin's prepared meals recently. They're all over the deli section, a good bunch of them. Now this one here today is on sale. It's Kevin's Paleo Thai Coconut Chicken. Thai style coconut chicken. I'm gonna grab one here, take it home, crack it open, show you guys what it's about. So I've got my packet of Kevin's Thai style coconut chicken here, as promised. And as an added bonus, I've also got Kevin's mashed cauliflower keto side dish as well, both available at Costco. So we're gonna go ahead and pair these two together today so I can review them side by side, make a meal out of them. You have your center of the plate protein and you have your keto side to so make a nice keto meal here for you. You've probably seen a lot of Kevin's products in Costco in the refrigerated section. They have a lot of different types of protein options. And then now they have this mashed cauliflower, which is a nice keto side dish to go with their entrees. So one of the biggest appeals with Kevin's is that it's natural foods. That's what they push on a lot of their items here. So you'll see chicken raised without antibiotics, certified paleo, certified gluten-free, high protein, and low carb. So it says you're gonna get about six and a half servings per container. Now there's two packets inside. I'm gonna take them out and show you in a minute here. That's a five ounce serving. And five ounces is pretty small. That's really what you should be taking in as recommended by dietary guidelines. But usually most servings for most people are gonna be a little bit larger than that. And I've had this meal before and it serves probably about more comfortably four to five people. You can have seven grams of, of total fat, five grams of saturated fat. Now that saturated fat is coming mainly from the coconut sauce. You're gonna see coconut milk, coconut cream. You're not gonna get much fat from the chicken because it is boneless, skinless chicken breast. Five grams of carbs, three grams of sugar, and again, most of that is coming from the sauce. And the 23 grams of protein is coming from the chicken. And the ingredients are really pretty clean. I mean, you got the chicken, the vinegar, sea salt, lemon juice, a lot of the flavoring, a lot of the herbs and spices, and then the Thai coconut sauce is where you're gonna have as well some of the coconut sugar and more flavoring there as well, but really no preservatives. It overall is a very clean product. And so when you slide this sleeve off, you're gonna see inside the box, you have two packets of chicken and two packets of the sauce. Now, the packets of the sauce are pretty light, so I guess they don't want you to use too much sauce or they're not expecting you to use too much sauce for chicken. That's what's gonna keep the calorie content and the sugar content down. And this is the chicken. So you can see it looks almost like a block of chicken. It says that uh, they're chicken strips that kind of fuse together when they cook them sous vide. And it tells you what you wanna do is massage the chicken, the packet, to break them apart before you throw them in the skillet because it'll kind of pull the pieces of chicken apart here. You can see it's got some chicken juices in there, but that's the natural chicken juices from the sous vide process. And that's how it looks like when you break it apart. So you do see it kind of comes apart in a little chunks and it shreds up a little bit. And we'll see how it looks later once we get it cooking. And here we have the keto mashed cauliflower side. So it's really just cauliflower made of cream, cheddar cheese, and a hint of sea salt. And again, going along with Kevin's natural foods claims, you see it's keto certified. It's gluten-free, no preservatives, vegetarian, and no added sugar. And so going along with the keto trend, you see high fat, decent amount of protein, and low carb. So for a side, it says half a cup is gonna be one serving. So decent amount of mashed cauliflower. We'll see what it looks like on the plate. But 13 grams of total fat and eight grams of saturated fat. Now the saturated fat is the one you need to be watching. That's why it has that percent, their daily value percent, which is 40% of your daily value, which is a lot for a side dish. And that's mainly coming from the cheddar cheese. You have heavy cream, butter, ghee, cheese powder, cheese, 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 and cheese. So the cheese is where you're gonna get the flavor from because cauliflower itself doesn't have too much flavor, it's more light. So they do have that cheese and the salt in there to give it more of that mashed potato flavor to make you feel like you're eating something a little bit more hefty. But with eight grams of carbohydrates in one serving, and you'll be getting a low amount of carbohydrates from your entree from the chicken, that's gonna be a very low carb meal. So that's your keto, is about as keto as it gets right there. And taking a look back at the ingredient, fact, there's really not much to it. No preservatives, it's pretty clean. So when we slide off this sleeve, let's see what's behind door number two. We have two, three nice sized packs of this mashed cauliflower and it's heavy it's hefty this stuff has got some weight to it so you're going to get 10 servings out of this pack so i'm guessing you get about three per bag here three servings per bag so i guess one of these would feed about three people depending on how much you're going to be plating but yeah it's got some texture to it it's definitely thick you can feel all the heavy cheese and the cream in there we're just going to go ahead and microwave one of these up to get it warmed up for our side we'll throw the chicken on the skillet and we'll have our meal ready to go
So we just poured the, the chicken into the pan. We're gonna warm this up here for a few minutes and then we'll add the sauce. This is what it looks like once you throw, throw it in the pan, you break it up, you get it out of the packet. So we have Chef Victor cooking it up today. And this is what it looks like. We just added the sauce and it's just going on a low simmer right now, a low heat simmer. The, the chicken cooked up for about four or five minutes. We got it light brown on the, on the sides. So we added the sauce and now you see it just simmering a little bit for a few minutes and we'll go ahead and plate it. All right, we got it all plated up, ready to go. Victor cooked it up for us. So you have the chicken and the mash. So this is the chicken between Victor and I. This was one packet. This is the mash. This was one of the three packets of mash. We have a lot left over here. So let's go ahead and dive in. And you can see the color is nice. You do see some nice seasonings in there, spices and seasonings. There's a few small pieces, a few larger pieces. Overall, you can cut into it pretty well. It's not in like it's a terrible texture issue. Let's give it a bite. You definitely get that Thai style flavor in there. And the coconut gives it a little bit of sweetness. So it is a nice Americanized version of that recipe. The chicken is tender, it's moist. It's what you'd be looking for out of a packaged pre-cooked chicken. Victor, what do you think of the chicken? I think overall the chicken is, is really good. You know, it's a qualifier because, you know, this is a, a ready-to-go meal. This flavor is, is really, really good. And the downside is just how much you actually get out of it. I agree. Totally agree. The flavor is good. The, uh, the convenience is going to be the key here with all these prepared meals you're going to find there in that deli section. But the flavor is good. The texture is what you'd come to expect from pre-cooked chicken. Well, it's not going to be five-star chicken, but it's good. It's very good. It's definitely doable. Kids will like it. I'm sure families will like it. I like it. Victor liked it. Now let's take a look at these uh, cauliflower mash. And the cauliflower mash was real simple. It was just pour the contents into a bowl, microwave it for a minute, stir it up, put it in for another 30 seconds, and it was ready to go. Right off the bat, the cheese hits you. Victor said the same thing. You taste that cheese. You think you're gonna be getting cauliflower flavor, flavor and it's there, but that cheese is really what hits you right off the bat. It's creamy, but you do get some of the chunks of the cauliflower as well to give it a nice little bit of a crunchy texture to it. The nice thing about this is it does offer a nice substitute, a keto substitute to, to mashed potatoes. It has the same texture, good flavor, and, and absolutely far and beyond. It does taste very good in comparison to any kind of a mashed potato you probably would go for. Let's see what Victor thinks. I liked it so much that it's already gone. Already uh, gone. Well, there's more, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> like Danny said, the cheese hits you as soon as you uh, bite into it, which me not being crazy about cauliflower is a huge plus. Um, it, it just makes it taste so much better. And it, you know, it's a healthy alternative to mashed potatoes. So I, I, overall, I really, really like it. Yeah, and like you said, cauliflower doesn't have much flavor to begin with, but the cheese and the, uh, the creaminess to it gives it, it takes it up that level where it's something that you wouldn't expect to be as good as it actually is. So it is a nice side. I would absolutely recommend it for a side to any kind of a keto meal you're going for. If you grab one of these prepared dishes, that keto cauliflower mash, it's nice and it's actually a good price too. So overall, great meal. The convenience is the key here when it comes to these prepared meals, packaged meals, sides, entree, whatever it is. The flavor is good, convenience is good, the pricing is good. So go pick one up today. And if you like the review, please don't forget to share. Tell your friends to follow Dan the Costco Man, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube channel, TikTok. I'm a little bit of a TikTok guy now, I'm getting into it. But please share, please tell your friends. We have more reviews coming soon.